ladies and gentlemen, this is Ranger Rob from Ranger Rob Country Living. And uh, this is our second day where we're trying a hydroponic uh, radishes and uh, hydroponic lettuce. So uh, I was going to do carrots, but lettuce sound better. So those are started there. We're waiting for them to germinate. Uh, actually, I told you earlier I had a little bit of broccoli here. And it started, but... Um, I don't know if it'll take, but I decided to try uh, see if we could revive a couple of those guys and see if we can get them to go bigger. So uh, I don't know how much success I'll have with that, but that's really not what the excitement's been around here. The big news is uh, Sherry's also planted some uh, flowers, and uh, we'll wait for those to germinate. But today is harvest right day. So we got a harvest right. And uh, the only thing that wasn't right is they sent me the wrong vacuum um, machine. I was supposed to get the oil list, but I got the the oil type. And I've waited two and a half months for that. So I haven't worked out the details of whether they're going to replace that or um, give me a refund or whatever. But I don't care at this point. So this is the harvest right. So we get the oil pump. By the way, this is very quiet super quiet I was really amazed at how quiet this was and this is the unit right here and uh, it's uh we ran our test you're supposed to run a test and after you run the test you run a cycle um, to uh, dry bread so we ran the cycle all night it was successful so today is the day that we uh, find out what this baby can do so I think we're gonna do some eggs right off the bat and uh, maybe some strawberries we've got some frozen strawberries in there it's like ah, maybe we'll dry them out so uh, we're still learning how to use this machine but we're really thrilled to have it so in between all this I want to bring up one little thing so my wife works and she uh, works for a school district and so she was required to take the shot <laughs> yeah so uh the first one went our right sore arm and the whole thing and then she got the second one so yesterday i didn't film anything uh she was wiped out uh i was actually really worried she was literally couldn't do anything uh she was uh couldn't eat slept all day uh, she's doing much better today but uh, I don't care what you say there's something not right with that damn shot and uh, I don't know what to say um, you know high-risk people I could understand it but uh, that was hell to pay total hell to pay and I am not saying yes or no or whatever all I know is I'll probably avoid it as long as possible or wait till they develop something that's a little bit more mild because this first one was bad and uh, she's just damn lucky that she didn't have something more serious happen. That's, that's all I'll say about that because I know it's not very politically savvy but let's get on to some fun things. Like we got to get our eggs. We're going to get our eggs ready and we're going to get the dehydrator working. And it's going to be a great day. Before we get started today with our dehydrator, we need to go on a chicken run. So Sherry's with me today. She's moving. Not feeling good yesterday. Beautiful day. And I see the girls waiting for us. It's like they want something. What could they possibly want? Hi girls. Let me guess. You need food and you need water. But before we do that, we're going to check on eggs. How are we looking? We got a few. And... <laughs> Hi, girl. I can't see anything. There's ah, one here. Some here. Oh, girls. 
Well, we got a few out of there. Let's check this side. Anything? Nope. They like the other side better. Total of eight today. So we got eight eggs total. It's still a pretty day. Uh, another little dilemma I wanted to take care of is our Starlink. So this is our Starlink over here. And uh, it's been working fine from there. Uh, I haven't really found a good place on the roof, but I thought I'd run it along the edge here and out to the front there and see if I can get a good signal. It's going to be iffy. Uh, reason being is the cord I got right now is crossing the grass and uh, eventually our grass is going to start growing again and we got to mow and stuff. So I'm going to move it and see what happens. We're going to try it over here for a while. It might be too close to the house, but at least my cord's not going over the grass. If this works good here, then I'll probably mount the Starlink up there. But anywhere else, I have trees. So that's my only, my only hope. Uh, even that might cause me some problems. So let's see how it works. So I'll give it a little time for it to track the satellites and see if we can uh, uh, do a speed test on it later. Okay, so it's the time you've been waiting for. Today, we're going to freeze dry eggs. Mm -hmm. And so what we're going to do is we, we know from watching, uh, what's it called? Traditions show? What's the name of it, remember? Living Traditions. Living Traditions Homestead, we'll give them credit, that we can fit 18 eggs. Probably not going to do 18. But, but Sherry's... Yeah, because we're kind of, they are probably got it mastered than we are. We're not freezing ours ahead of time. We're going to let the hydrator freeze them. So we might go 16 eggs. I'm thinking a dozen eggs. Mm -hmm. I've seen that somewhere they've exploded. And yeah. it's like, I don't want to do it. Okay, so. I over, it caused by overdoing. All right, so we're going to go with like a dozen eggs in each tray just to be on the safe side. We're still new at this. Um, so we got tons of eggs sitting in the refrigerator as Sherry's pulling out. And uh, yeah, so we'll try a dozen per, uh, per tray and uh, see how it goes. One more thing is we decided we're making these executive decisions. We're doing three trays of eggs and one tray of strawberries from our garden in Arizona that we're frozen. So we're kind of, we're just dying to see what they taste like. So. Uh, yeah, one tray of strawberries, three trays of eggs. Mm. Unless we change our mind. So we uh, decided to not freeze these ahead of time. One is we don't have enough space in the freezer set up yet, but we will. Uh, so we're going to put these into the freeze dryer um, and let the freeze process happen in the freeze dryer and uh, go that route. Now we've got to be careful not to spill these trays when we put them into the dehydrator. And there's kind of a little lip in the back, so you've got to be really careful when you're putting the trays in. Uh, and uh, so we'll probably put these in the bottom three rows and put the strawberries on the top because 
<laughs> it'd just be easier. So the other day before we got our dehydrator, uh, we did get these little spacers, which uh, allows you to stack the trays. So for practice, we're going to go ahead and put these in the freezer, but we're still going to use a freezing mode. But we're going to see how it goes, just to go through the routine. So we're going to carry one tray out to the, <laughs> very carefully, out to the freezer. That's one of the drawbacks of this thing. <laughs> Cinder, bell. Down. So our second attempt didn't go so well. Um, this is why they say don't <laughs> pour them out. So our second attempt didn't go so well. We did spill a little bit. Uh, so uh, the problem is, is our garage is such an obstacle course. So uh, we got a little bit of cleanup to do before we do the last tray. But hey, live and learn. Well, we got the third tray in, uh, spilled a little bit on the floor, but not in the freezer this time. Uh, we definitely got to improve the process. Um, one of our little tray tabs fell off when she was putting it up there, so it complicated it. But hey, this is part of learning. Uh, I think really the best thing to do is to use our freezer that's in the kitchen, so we don't have to do this long, long transport. But for now, it's the only space we have available in the freezer. And uh, anyway, so something to keep in mind, guys. Keep your freezer nearby. And uh, dealing with liquids is kind of tough. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to uh, load our uh, harvest right up. Uh, last tray we have right here is for the strawberries. And we did order pre made, is it Teflon or silicone pads? So I feel like. Um, I don't know. I think they're the Teflon. Yeah. Anyway, they're pre-made for these trays. Uh, we ordered them from a gentleman uh, from uh, Retire at 40. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's also where we get the tabs for the trays. So uh, our strawberries are frozen whole. So we're going to try to cut them up uh, smaller um, while they're frozen and then load them on the tray right here. So uh, that's our strawberries right there. Those came out of our garden from Arizona last year. And hopefully we'll be growing a lot more this year. And uh, we want to grow a lot of strawberries and we want to freeze dry them, so. Yeah, you get the deadly weapon out. So yeah, let's get going on this and we'll get back to you. All right, got our strawberries all loaded up and cut into bits and pieces. Um, actually, it doesn't take very many strawberries to do a tray. So uh, anyway, we're gonna Take these out. The eggs um, are not completely frozen, but they're frozen enough where they can be transported safely. <laughs> so we're going to load up the harvest right and get her fired up. <laughs> Alright, so this thing's ready to go. Uh, we're going to load up the strawberries and the eggs right now and then get her going. So the first thing we got to do is close off the valve for the uh, vacuum and then we got to put our little uh, insulated mat in the front here. I'll let Sherry do that.
Now to run this, it's pretty simple. We just hit a start. And then we tell it that it's not frozen. Load through the freezer, close the uh, drain valve, and then hit continue. And we're done. So I'll go into the freezing process. Everything's automated from there on. So this is going to be part one on this uh, video. And uh, then our next video will show the finished product, which will take about 24 hours. So yeah, pretty exciting. And a uh, uh, couple of new processes. Uh, talking about the eggs. Um, the next time what we'll do is blend the eggs put the trays in the freezer ahead of time and then pour them in the trays in the freezer so we don't have the problem with the tilting and uh, so lesson learned on that so uh, I want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share our videos and don't forget to watch us on part two tomorrow talk to you later bye now our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob poopy bags available at Amazon right now Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.